So the autism brain is hyper complex. And I want to know, do you do this one odd thing? Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan and I have autism and ADHD. I make weekly videos all about this stuff. So if you're new around here and you want to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. Guys, what's going on? I want to talk about the autism brain and something really kind of odd or complexly interesting that I do. And I want to know if you guys do it. All that is coming up. Guys, before we move on with the video, I just want to say that I've come across the most amazing app that's going to come to autism right now. This app is called Collage. Now, this is kind of a community, dating, relationship, friendship kind of app. It's a lot better than some of the other rubbish that's been out before. This app is absolutely groundbreaking. I think it's just amazing. Now, currently, there's a waiting list. If you can jump on that waiting list and you're watching this video, then do it right now. The link is in the description down below and a comment below this video. Go to the Collage Collection website right now and sign up for the waiting list. Or by the time you watch this video, it actually might be out. So you can just go and download the app straight away. It's absolutely amazing. I think this on its own is going to break the mold between creating community, autism relationships and friendships. But more than anything, this is very much a verified platform, which is very secure because you don't want some creepy weirdos kind of going on and downloading uh, uh, an app. So, blah, blah. so the verification and the vetting process is very strict and very secure. It's absolutely amazing. And it's a safe place for autistic people to find relationships with friends and also potential intimate relationships. So definitely check out College App right now. The link is down below. Guys, you won't be disappointed. Okay, roll the video. Okay, so what is it? What is this one odd thing? So I want to get into it. Let's talk about the autism brain. Now, the autism brain is hyper complex. It has many difficulties, but it also has many strengths. It can problem solve easier. It can understand complexities quite easier, but also it has difficulties, social communication, um, issues with uh, language, other types of communication like sensory processing. There's a whole host of things that can happen when you're on the autism spectrum. Now, if you have autism combined with ADHD, then there's a lot of things that can kind of really be destructive and kind of really put a spanner in the works of life. But there are things that you can do to help accommodate those. Now, the autism brain is super fast, like hyper fast. My brain is going a bazillion miles per second and I'm trying to keep up with it. A lot of people watching my videos will comment saying, hey Dan, can you slow down when you talk because I can't understand what you're saying, you're talking too fast, blah, blah, blah. This is because my brain is going so fast and trying to keep up with it by all the information that's coming out of my brain to put into my mouth to tell you guys about it. And this is a little bit difficult because having to slow down your brain to talk at an acceptable speed is really, really difficult. But it also works the other way around. When I'm listening to television, documentaries, audiobooks, podcasts, you name it, YouTube videos, they're always a little bit slow. I'm like, oh my goodness, like it needs to get faster. It needs to be faster. Ha ha, enter the most interesting thing ever. About three or four years ago, I realized that was a playback speed button on YouTube, on your phone, for your audio podcasts, audio books, whatever. And I was like, hey, what if I put the books at two times speed? So I change everything to two times speed. And what this does is remarkable. There's two things, there's two sets here. One is it speeds up the audio information and the visual information to match the speed of my brain because my brain is going two times faster than the things I'm seeing. Hence why I speak fast, but also I can understand it a lot better and understand those videos a lot better because they're at a faster pace. Now the second component of why this is awesome is because one of the biggest things that autistic people have is the worry domino, right? And worry domino is when, you know, you want to learn something like how to change the windscreen wipers in your car. So you watch a YouTube video, but there's so much bump in it and it takes such a long time to get to it. You're already worried that the time is taking you to watch how to change the windscreen wiper has then added time onto the rest of your day, like a domino. It's, it's knocked over something else and something else is going to be delayed and blah, blah, blah. So when you're speeding up a video to watch it, not only are you able to understand it better, you also free up the time that it would take you to watch it, which gives you extra time, which frees up some of these dominoes. A lot of autistic individuals struggle with these dominoes. I actually have a free PDF book uh, for autism life hacks. You can go to autismtips.net right now. There is a link in the description if you want to, to download my free autism uh, life hacks book. And it helps with things like this. But, you know, what's interesting is we're trying to diminish the amount of dominoes we have increase the amount of dopamine we can access and really have a more pleasurable, more accessible experience for autistic individuals. Now, this may not work with everybody. I know a lot of people watching my videos and a big thumbs up to you guys. If you are watching these videos and you watch them at two times speed, please put a comment down below and like this video saying, 
me because I, I want to know if you're watching my videos at two times speed because I get comments like this quite often people are watching my videos at two times speed and I'm already talking super fast like I already think I'm talking really fast but also when people say in real life people say to me like you know hey Dan can you speak a bit slower I can't understand you especially my family it really kind of it's a bit annoying it's kind of like they don't respect that that's how I am. It's kind of like me saying, so, well, can you speed up talking? You know, imagine saying to me, hey, you're speaking too slow, speed up. It's quite rude, isn't it? So to tell someone to slow down when they speak is also super rude. So it's hard to balance that out. And, and I tried my best, like, you know, I am a performing artist. I'm in a band called Straight Jacket Legends. We have a record out in Japan. We have a record out in the US. And, you know, I've toured all over the world playing music and one of the things I get a lot of the time is people say, oh, I couldn't understand what you said, you know, you're speaking too fast on, on stage and when you're performing or giving keynote speeches, you know, and I do keynote speeches for autism all over the world. You know, I did the first ever um, autism speech in VidCon in Anaheim near Los Angeles in 2019 with Jess from How To ADHD, good friend of mine. She took out a book out as well, so go check out her new book. And, you know, it, it's kind of like people come to those keynotes, never say, hey, Dude, slow down. You're speaking too fast. Because they get it. There's energy. There's passion. There's like this this wanting to to get the information out. But I find out some people can be quite rude with it. And this comes down to another thing where a lot of people dismiss autism. So I use my secret weapon to not only digest stuff, but to kind of feed that feeling of going, it's okay to speed things up. It's okay to to have things at a faster pace. Because we're autistic people. Like we should be accepted for who we are. Now it doesn't work with everything. Some videos, uh, if I speed them up, they are kind of complex uh, in, the, in how they've been uploaded and it kind of doesn't really flow well. Most of the time it does though, because the technology now is so advanced that when you do speed something up, it kind of just speeds it up without breaking the thing. I want to know, is this something you do? And if it isn't something you do, how do you overcome this? And do you experience this? A lot of people tell me that they don't experience it, but most autistic individuals tell me they do experience it. I want to know, do you experience it? Do you not? Drop me a comment down below. Let's have a discussion. I read every single comment and I reply to pretty much all of them as much as I can. Now, these videos are all to do with autism and ADHD. I have a bunch more videos, so please check out the links in the description down below. You guys have been amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.